The World Press Photo of the Year for the year 2010 is a photograph by Jody Bieber from South Africa of a young Afghan woman who had had a terrible mutilation. Her nose had been sliced off by uh, angry members of her family when there was a dispute within the family. And um, it's a picture that has a real power and gripping, uh, jolting quality to it. But at the same time, she is this beautiful young woman whose eyes are very alive and very bright. And you, she carries herself with a certain amount of dignity that, that is just uh, uh, unreal and surprising for the situation that she's in. And so it's, it's a very... Uh, startling picture to look at, but in many ways just the beauty and the softness of her face and of her, of her look kind of draws you into the picture. And it's really very moving and I think it's one of these pictures which will probably, you know, people will look at it and they'll probably think that, they're, that it was chosen because of an issue uh, which is the treatment of women in many parts of the world, I suppose. But in fact, it really is a great picture and it speaks to a lot of things and not simply that. I think it touches on many areas and the fact that uh, in the last uh, decade or so, there has been a great deal of attention given to the uh, situation of women in many places around the world and certainly Afghanistan seems to be one of those places. So I think it's while it's not an obvious news picture, it certainly does address things that people are talking about and hopefully, maybe because of this picture, we'll continue to speak about even more. Well, when you put all the work together, as we, we did today, we had uh, big thumbnails of all the winners. Uh, that's kind of what you have to do when you decide what the, the final photo of the year is going to be, is to see everything that's been awarded. And when you look at it, there's a, a really very broad spectrum of events that are covered and different styles. You know, photography in the digital age continues to kind of adjust uh, and change. I mean, it's not when I started when it was all 35 millimeter film for the, for the most part. In uh, the mid 60s, there was a certain look that pictures had. And I think now, uh, photographers have adapted their material and their cameras and lenses and have really figured out a way to personalize and make their look and their style part of what their work is. And that's what's kind of fun to see is the different kinds of approaches that photographers use. And as I said, sometimes even on the same, same story. We, we spent a lot of hours with the lights off looking at photographs. But, you know, when you're a photographer, that's really one of the joys of being in the business as to being able to see what other people are doing. So this is front row and first run. So I'm happy to be here.